Hi my loves, welcome back to the studio on the cliffs in the far north of Scotland. I haven't seen you in a while, I have been busy in the community of Caseness which is here in the far north of Scotland, I've been running lots of workshops um, but it is winter which means now I'm back in the house and uh, acutely aware of how isolating it can be up here, but I am sure everywhere else around the world too, particularly in winter when we draw inwards, but maybe wherever you are and wherever you are on your journey, you may be feeling some isolation and loneliness. So that's how I thought I would come online today and give you a little workshop in creativity and in watercolours. But today is also a full moon, um, which I'm feeling very much running through my body. I, um, I don't know if you know my story, but I've also now um, evolved into energy healing. Um, so I also bring that into wellness and well-being um, but it means that I'm more in tune with energy so um, so I thought today we would do a full moon painting tutorial with some mindfulness and meditation too so let us begin I will list all of the materials that you need underneath so by the time you are here I want you to be fully relaxed, to have all of your materials that you need. Put a candle on, light a candle and be in the mind frame that you are here for however long this takes, but you are giving yourself time to fully and completely relax into the creative flow. If you happen to be here on a full moon, then even better because we are going to be channeling some full moon vibes through the painting but also when we are painting we're going to be doing a bit of release in our painting um, and in, uh, by release I mean emotional release so full moons are a great opportunity to bring up and um, what's the word excavate um, emotions that maybe th throughout the rest of the month you have been squashing down. I know that I get extra emotional on a full moon. It's like the way I see it is the full moon is a torch and it's shining completely into my body and it's shining on all the parts that need illuminating. So just going to do a little bit introduction to shadow work so shadow work is all of the stuff and the emotions that we squash down the parts of ourselves that we perhaps would rather avoid whether that is some grief that we're carrying whether there's some anger some hurt um embarrassment over something and it seems to want to come up on a full moon and we we seem to encounter these emotions more fully on a full moon than any other time so i would recommend if you are on a well-being journey and want to get better in your body in your emotions in the way that you relate to other people in your outlook in general then it's uh, always good to examine your emotions as they are coming up so hopefully this tutorial today will give you some mindfulness some relaxation and a little bit of respite and release that will enable you to move forwards in your well-being journey so i'm very much wrapped up i have four layers on today it is cold in the fall in the far north of scotland just now maybe over my shoulder you'll see the sea um but that's okay because we're just gonna have fun with this tutorial so like i said I said no, the first thing i want you to do now is just take a deep breath in Hold your breath at the top and exhale. Just exhale that breath. Come fully into your chair. Shrug your shoulders. 
Let's get rid of some of that tension and get into the relaxed flow, ready to get creative. We're just gonna take a moment. If you can just be aware of the noises that are in the room, draw your attention to the noises or the stillness. I can hear the wind. And just be aware of your breath, but don't try and control it. Just wonderful to go into stillness, even if you can do this for a minute or two each day and build up. We are so busy being noisy, so busy being busy, that it's absolute, it's a complete rest for us to come into the stillness. Our brain actually goes, oh. okay. So let's get started on this It's Watercolours today. So we're going to keep it very basic. You need your watercolour pencil. I've just got a brown here. Let's turn you around. Okay. The marks, I had paint on my hand earlier, so we're just going to ignore those marks there. You need your circular object. So I've got um, some tape. You could bring a saucer, a candle, something round that you can draw round. And it doesn't matter if it's in the middle or to the left or to the right, just wherever you want your moon to be. So I'm just going to draw around the inside and my watercolour pencil just checking it's watercolour okay so that's your moon and then we are roughly gonna draw the horizon no worries about straight line just roughly the horizon is going here And then we are going to draw a rough wave. Okay. I'm not sure. Hopefully that's showing up for you. So there's my wave. It's the bottom of my wave. That's my horizon and that is my moon. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is, again, this bit now is not essential. If you have masking fluid, which I do here, I'm using this one. Which I can't open. I'm just going to mask. So the way we use masking fluid, I'm going to dip a brush, an old brush, in here. Let's see which brush I'm using. Okay, so this is, we're going to mark the stars with the masking fluid. So I've dipped my brush in. We are just going to lightly, very quickly scatter stars with the masking fluid. If you don't have masking fluid, I would use the watercolours. Um, I would use the watercolours on the paper and then use acrylics, a white acrylic over the top to do exactly the same mark making.
probably not so many towards the horizon, more up in the sky. And then the same way, we are just gonna very loosely mask the top of the wave with a white splash would be coming over the top. And then I'm just going to mask the foamy bit of the wave, just here. And again, if you don't have masking fluid, then you can use white paint at the end in exactly the same way. So I would use white acrylic. And where else? Let's just think if that moon's coming down, let's bring some moonlight into the sea here. Okay. okay, that's enough. Let's put the masking fluid to the side. So I did say we're gonna do some emotional release today as well. So it's some therapy whilst you are painting. Right, whilst you are here, and we're waiting for that masking fluid to dry. I would like you to again just close your eyes. Come back into that stillness. Okay. And some of those words or emotions that you have been stifling all month, some of the feelings that have been coming up that you've not given yourself to process let's just go back and examine and see what has come up for you this month what's coming up for you today on this full moon what words come to mind what feelings come to mind so for me the first word i literally got there was isolation so I'm going to write isolation in watercolour pencil, check it, it's watercolour pencil, on my piece of paper. Let's just see what else comes up. So that's one word, one emotion. And let me just feel into that feeling. How does it feel? It feels lonely, it feels empty but that's okay. It's okay. We cannot be 100% positive the whole time. We cannot have the light without the dark. It's okay to have these feelings. What else has come up for you? Let's just see if there's anything else coming up for you today. Let's see if there's some grief. I'm going to write grief on this piece of paper. What does grief feel like for you? Gosh, grief is heavy, isn't it? It's a, <sighs> it's a vibration I'm, I'm well aware of. I've, I've, I've managed grief um, for a decade and it's not easy. And for my particular grief, it, it doesn't go away. It's just learning to manage it on a daily basis. But again, it's okay. Like for me to name the feeling is okay. It's part of me. I accept it. I accept that some days I feel full of grief. One more. Let's just see if anything else comes up for you or for me today. <laughs> I've just had a positive word. So let's just write that down. I'm going to write love. Because 
amidst all of this, I've been doing, I know I've been doing positive things out in the community. I'm growing a, um, a very positive community up here and people are coming alongside me and I feel very supported and very loved and very blessed. So I'm going into that vibration too. Okay. So that's for you to do. If you want to pause, spend time working your way through your emotions, see what comes up. You can get as many on this as you would like. There is no right or wrong. I would invite you to spend time with your emotions and really dive into them, but do not judge them. Judgment could be one of the emotions you put on there. Do not judge yourself for feeling. Just absolutely go into the emotion, feel it, see what comes up, and we're going to release all of it today and know that it's all part of us and we send it out into the universe with love and joy so now we have hopefully yes the masking fluid is dry which is brilliant we're going to get cracking with the paints so i'm going to wet the whole paper knowing that all the words that we've just written are gonna come out when we put the water on I'm going over the circle got my hair let's move my hair if it will come off stubborn little hair so I have a big brush to wash oh gosh these hairs are getting everywhere to wet my paper the words are running a little which is fine we're going to cover them with paint from all the way to the bottom the reason we wet the paper is so that the colors blend beautifully together we don't do these, we don't do the blending with acrylics. Another hair. Okay. Right. For a starry night. So I'm going quite big with my beginning, uh, with my wash brush to begin with, and then we may pick up smaller brushes as we go. So this is the first brush I'm going to pick up. I'm going to go into a dark indigo, but you go into whatever colours you are drawn to. If I lost my indigo now, where was it? Now I'm going to come around the moon. Every time I go into the palette, I kind of pick up a different color, like a little bit purple on there. Be mindful of the moon, but it doesn't matter if it runs a little into it. We don't want any hard edges, hard edges. Some more colour, whatever sky colour you want. So there's some purple coming through. I think I will bring that. Let's go for the horizon's just going to be a little bit lighter. So let's just see if we can bring a lighter colour upwards from the horizon.
wiping over my emotions. And the joy is that this is your therapeutic process. No one has to see what's gone in behind the emotions of this painting. You can cover them up completely or you can be very proud of what you are doing and show people. And it could be a talking point because I believe everyone should be talking about mental health. And that things like isolation, loneliness, grief, shame, guilt are all normal emotions for people to be dealing with. It's when they aren't dealt with that they accumulate in the body and cause disease and sickness and mental health issues. So that's our beginning of our sky, beautiful. Let's now start into the sea. I'm gonna give my brush a wash. Let's bring some, see if we can mix. I'm gonna mix an aquamarine color. You choose your colors that you would like in the sea. I'll just show you my palette. I can hold it up there you go I'm on a Windsor Newton palette and this is my brush here but you can use basic you can use watercolor pencils um, you can use acrylics so I'm going to run this down from the horizon Let's see what colour the wave is. It's a little bit, the wave is actually darker. So let's just, I'm going to run that right into the horizon. We don't want any gaps. Okay, so then as I'm coming into the wave, yes, I am going to get darker now with the paint. If I can, maybe run some of the purpley through it too. Let's think about the direction of this wave. What way is it going to be? It's going to be coming up here. So let's think about that movement as it comes up. And then we're going to bring it into the foreground. But we want that nice ripple effect in the foreground. But we should be able to create that with what we've done with the masking or you can create it with white paint afterwards so let's just leave a little gaps at the foreground here picked up some blue what's happening in this bit here now I'm going to create a little bit of texture with the brush change my brush stroke a little and start thinking about that wave crashing there beautiful so I would let that dry a little maybe I don't know five ten minutes if you need to if not just i'm just going to carry on the paper's buckling 
but I don't mind it will it should sort itself out I've stretched the paper but really I'd say use this as a creative process rather than a gallery piece of work all right so I wouldn't worry about buckling paper I'm now going over I'm just going to bring some darker paint into the top and run that down so that we have some contrast so I'm bringing dark black over what I've done already. Particularly at the top of the painting to give it some depth. I haven't changed the brush, it's still that nice large brush. Around the moon it will be a little bit, um, what's the word, lighter. I'll just bring the dark around the edges. much down the bottom the black as well let me just think about we need some shadow in the wave so let's make it darker in this bit here and maybe either side of here where the light is hitting horizontal stroke leading into that masked bit and then this way too What I'm going to do is take my putty rubber now and leave that. I'm going to leave the stars, but down here we can work into this way. So I'm just going to remove some of the. If you're going to let me come out. Yes, you are. So you can pick it off with your hands, you can rub it off with the rubber. Now I've torn the paper. Okay, good job. This is not a gallery piece, right? It must be cheap paper. <laughs> but it's going to add to the textured effect. Believe me, when I do paint professionally, I use better and more, uh, I use stronger materials. I don't mind it, it's just adding to the texture. And let's just see if we can get some of this off here. What a mess, but we can still create something from it for sure. Okay. You can see it coming already. Um, right, let's bring some of that ultramarine through. So I'm going to pick up a smaller brush now. Bring some of that light blue through, particularly here with a smaller brush. We just want that moonlight to be coming through.
So I'm going over the work that I've done so far. Let's do some masking too. Let's just make it a little bit darker up here in this background bit. That's coming, minding the top of the wave. And let's lead that into the sky. Right, so we've got that white patch here at the front. I'm just going to bring some more dark streaks through here like this. There are no wrong turns. I think that's a Bob Ross quote, only happy accidents. So I'm using all of that texture in the paper create moonlight effect for that moonlight dancing on the sea so just horizontal lines I've gone darker back into the black it's actually quite nice isn't it um let's think about this wave again it's going to come up and curl upwards Let's make that darker. Upwards and curling. Upwards and curling, very dark, which is great because we want that moonlight. We want that movement. Dark stripes. What else can we do? I think that's good. Just to break up the big section of the wave, let's just bring some maybe gray into that and see what happens. Um, here. And my brush strokes have changed. Oops, that's a bit dark that bit. I think that paper tearing actually has worked in our favour, or my favour. Now I'll be wishing I could sell it.
Okay. Now, I think what I'm kind of thinking is that there's something here. Let's just go off piste completely and put some rocks in here, which will then draw us backwards. We've now got bits of stars in there, so if I can get rid of that and paint over that bit, there we go. And that bit there and paint over that bit. Bring some of that rock down. So I'm picking up black, but also bits of brown. When we are in the distance here, we can water down the paint because that's going to create depth. But the front bit along to the right hand side here can be darker. to the sea. Blend that downwards. better isn't it right so let's just strengthen that some of that rock whilst it's still wet get some of the detail running through there if we can okay and that my lovelies may be it i think maybe just a little um where am I looking? It's here. It's just here. Let's just bring some of this. Just more texture around this bit. Break up that white. So have a play. Actually, I'm just seeing one more thing. Always do this. Uh, we want to break up some of this moon by a very light grey, pale colour in there. So we haven't just got a blank circle. However your brush falls, let it do what it needs to do. Blend those edges. And even then we can create little craters or something within the moon. How's that? Good. Right, that's us um, feeling better, feeling connected, feeling in the flow. You spend as much time as you want to perfecting your painting. You can now bring out the acrylic paints and get some white running through. Um, I'm going to take off my masking fluid on my stars. And I just feel so much better for taking this time for myself, for connecting to Mother Earth and all her energies, being aware of what's going on in the planet, on the not just with the human level, but on the energetic level. We are so connected to the planet. And we forget that um, she's doing her thing and we are taken care of by her, but we need to be fully connected to her to be aware of what's happening in our bodies when she has a full moon, particularly. 
so well done for releasing what needed to be released well done for taking the time to connect to yourself i will see you next time namaste my loves and a reminder for you my loves that uh, online painting classes take place monthly where you have access to me uh, for an hour and a half and I will take you through the technicalities of a painting in acrylics and we are we paint all sorts of things from landscapes to seascapes to waves and you will learn more in-depth technique what else is happening and join up to sign up to my newsletter to receive notifications of um, online events retreats uh energy healing you can come to my studio for painting experiences and online classes that's us